Hey everyone, I'm Patrick Brown. This is part one of the Miles Morales tutorial. This is the final art, but I'll show you how to make this from scratch. But let's start at the beginning in the sketching stage. Uh, today I will be going through rough sketches. We're going to be choosing a few different options. And this is kind of what I do for Marvel. They would ask for a full page or a sheet of sketches and I'll give them something like this. So we're going to do something like this today. I like to start with the opaque watercolour brush. Um, I just find it's nice and easy and very loose. Just a few warm ups here. So as you can see here, I just start throwing out some lines and uh, really giving it some flow. So the main middle line will be like the spine and I have it flow down through the leg. And then I'm going to have another leg kick out here and it's going to be aiming upwards. And I really want him to be kind of stretching his arm out and swinging out for a, another web. So he's just trying to do the thwip and he's reaching for another. And uh, what I'm thinking about here when I'm doing this is uh, silhouettes. So as you can see here, this pose doesn't really work as a silhouette. But if I show you another, this one here, this would really work well as a silhouette. You can read it from a distance. And that's what works best when it comes to trying to figure out poses. So when I'm sketching this one out, I can just really try and think of almost like a star. I don't know. This is kind of what I was thinking. You know, I really want to reach out at every angle from top right to bottom left to the other left and just reach out and really wanted something crazy. So I'm going to move on now and we're going to try another rough pose and that's the fun about it. You just keep scribbling and just keep roughing it out. So as I go, you can see that I'm tidying up a little bit more here. Um, and I'm also thinking of torso and I'm just kind of throwing shapes in. So I really just want to kind of throw them all in. Now I'm going for the head sculpt and I'm really just kind of roughing it out. And I thought this one would be a good angle kind of one and having really lunging out to the right, reefing on a web. That's kind of what I was thinking at here. And as I'm sketching away, I'm just kind of cleaning my roughs up as I go. So the idea with roughs is you need to build onto them. So you can start really, really rough and then you just keep going and going and just let your mind just go wild. And that's the idea about roughs. Go absolutely rough. It doesn't matter. Because as you go, you're going to chip away and start cleaning up little bits, tidying up. That's, that's the trick. You just keep tidying and tidying until you start to see something that's coming together. So I'm just starting to tidy up the face and the chin and really kind of bring it together a little bit more. I was kind of thinking he could be having his fist coming back and as if he's kind of got that, um, I think it's called the, oh, I can't remember now, the viper, the sting or something, the venom strike, that's what it is. And uh, yeah, so I was going to kind of have that back. And I think I might move this pose, we're going to use this pose later and I'll show you how I can really, really clean it up. So if we move on, let's try another one. Something that's got a lot more motion I really want there to be angle and uh, I think with this one I was thinking about you know the way the eye reads things so I really like how the eye can usually run from the top left corner of an image down to the bottom right that's how the eye would naturally naturally read through an image that's kind of what I was going for here it would need a little bit more angle but again, you can see I'm just really roughing it out, I'm trying to think of anatomy now. My first few strikes of lines will be flow, and then as I clean it up more, I start to think of anatomy. And I'm going to try another pose here. And this one was more of a direct kind of come at you kind of pose. So it's going to be coming toward the viewer, but I still really wanted to have that classic kind of spidey pose in there with the uh, the legs kind of pouched, uh, crouched up and really having an arm coming for you, having some foreshortening. I don't think I was really overly happy with this one so I tried again and that's okay. It's the best part about it. You can just have a little go and then get rid of it if you don't like it. So what I did here was I just put it on a new layer for the head 
And then I faded off that back bit a little bit more and started chipping away. Just tidying up a little bit more makes me feel a bit more confident about it. And as you can see, and then, then I start to try and fill that body out a little bit more in the roughs. So it's all about kind of giving it some thought. Really, you, you do have to have a bit of a, an idea of anatomy and, and structure and positioning, but um, I will help you get through that a little bit more as I go. I just wanted to explain how rough poses comes, just doing like a sheet of roughs. Because this is what I would have to deal with with Marvel. They would ask me, you know, can you give me some pose options of some Spider-Man action poses and, uh, and then I would just do something like this and then send them off. It takes a while. I've spent probably an, a whole hour doing all of these and this is obviously just sped up a little bit and I'm just kind of talking you through. Alright, so this one here, I really wanted to take that first pose I did and really just go more nuts. Just exaggerate the hell out of it. So, similar angle, you're kicking, kicking that leg out and uh, really throwing that arm out as well. And as you can see, like I said before, I wanted to really have him reaching out at every angle to really give it some energy. That's kind of what I was thinking about here. So you can kind of see the positioning is more like a, a big cross. And this was really tricky though to try and work out how this would work, this pose, because there are some that I really struggle on when it comes to anatomy. If it's a hard pose and it's a really awkward or different position, it can be really hard to figure out where does each muscle go. So that's where I kind of struggled at a little bit here. But the idea is you just, just keep chipping away and work at it. Go and have a look at some reference, the muscles and different angles of bodies and that really just helps you move forward and get to that next part that you want to work at. You can see here I was trying to work out how the foot might work but then I was like no I think I really like it better down that way. I don't really want the foot to be pointing up too much because when it comes to laying it out on a page, it'll be too pointy and going, probably going off the page a little bit more. And as you can see, I'm just starting to tidy it up a lot more now. Really kind of bring it, bring it together. So let's try another one. And if, I'm, if I remember right, I think this one is more of a, yes, this is another lunging one that's going to come at the viewer and it's going to be reaching out toward us. And I really wanted to try and get some foreshortening going on where he's literally reaching really close to the viewer but then you get a nice full shot of the body. And I really wanted to think about showing off the unique uh, and highly detailed, um, all the details in his suit in the new game because that is, those suits look absolutely amazing and I want to take advantage of that and use it in the image. So this would give you a really nice shot of his chest logo. You've got the powered fist coming up the back there. And then he's reaching forward for the classic Spidey thwip pose and uh, something like that. And like I said before, you can see here, I'm just trying to chip away at the anatomy now. I'm like cleaning up those roughs a little bit more. Just trying to get an understanding. Okay, so now we've got a full sheet. It's all ready. I'm going to start adjusting even further now. We're going to use this pose as an example and I'm going to start really just selecting areas, resizing. That's the best thing about Photoshop is you can just get your lasso tool, do Control T, even liquify. You can see here I'm doing liquify and I'm just adjusting every little bit of this pose to try and make it like where I'm happy with it because it was quite out of whack and this really helps tidy it up even more. It's the best thing about doing things digitally is you can just start adjusting and I'm changing it a fair bit really. It's giving it a little bit more motion, probably a little bit more perspective and that is a really cool way to try and tidy up your roughs. So now I'm fading it back and I'm going to start cleaning it up even more. This is not inks or anything like that. This is just the next stage of cleaning it up and giving this Miles pose a little bit more life and really bring it 
forward as a sketch like a cleaned up sketch so I'm starting to go through and I'm really thinking about cool angles and uh, just even a little bit of thought into how the inks might work but not so much because we're gonna be doing that later but this is more about just making it feel like a cool image you know really trying to bring it bring some life into it add some extra streaks that might look a bit cooler and muscles and anatomy is starting to play and in, into it a lot more now so I'm really trying to work with that torso and try and get all of these muscles involved And as I come through here, I'm going to start to work on the abs. And this is where the really cool part is because he's doing, he really is kind of clenching and folding them over a little bit more. So I really need to give it more thought into the ab area. And that is one of the cool details about these kind of poses too, is the abs usually are one of the cooler, cooler kind of details when you're looking at a character. So they need a bit of work. And as I move through here, just really trying to really think of the shape of these feet. You know, before they were a little bit more rounded, but now you've got to give them a few little edges here and there to make it look cooler. And I can start to fill out the hand a little bit more. The hands are definitely one of the main areas where you need to focus on uh, detail because they're going to have a lot more in them. And I'm also working out muscle tones here and like the forearm muscle, the elbows and the triceps, really trying to fold those in, make them, give them a little corner, a little edge, and really gonna work on that fist, just make it look like it's really pulling down and reefing on that web. And now comes the fun part, really wanna try and make those eyes look super cool at this point, and they're, they're hard to try and, it can be hard to try and give those eyes a bit more of a pop, but. I also wanted to give them a little bit of a 3D, like they're risen or beveled, I, could, I would say, kind of like they are on the suit. And have them pop out a little bit more. And now I'm just going to keep moving forward with the details on the suit, try and get that, that kind of shape in there and see how it works. And we're going to have a really good look at that chest symbol as well, and that, that's what would really make this one work. Once I, once I took this to, uh, you know, final colors and details, I would even add those really, those, those suit text, textures into his suit and stuff like that, which would be a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, now I'm just going to start putting in all the webbing and make all the webbing go in. And you can see there, I was just not sure about that. They're a little too angled, but now I'm happier with them there. I mainly try and like curve the webbing in the face but then when I get to the body down here I'm kind of just trying to focus on wrapping it around the neck and the and the neck muscles and the shoulders here so you'll see I'm just yeah rather than doing each little curve on each little web bit I'm actually just throwing circles around his neck rather than just doing the little bumps of webs um, you can see there I'm more outlining the bicep and the tricep and even the uh, forearm muscle that joins in between them. But that's mostly it. That is mostly it when it comes to cleaning up your roughs. And thanks to the polls here in Patreon, uh, you guys, you really helped out a lot here. Um, it looks like we've chosen number eight, which is number eight down there, as you can see. And uh, I, this morning I showed you, we narrowed that down a little bit more and we've got these three, obviously up the top there, that's the pose that I was telling you about that I forgot to put in. But uh, yeah, that's in there now. Um, but yeah, by looking like the numbers, it looks like number this one here, number two, which was number eight before, is the chosen one. So thank you everybody for that. We will go ahead with that one there, number two. But yeah, this is this is going to be it. So that'll be the next piece. I'm going to turn that into a full piece. I'm going to add a big city backdrop as well 
So it's going to be treated like, uh, still have it decided whether it's going to be a horizontal, probably, no, probably a vertical picture, and we'll treat it like a poster or a comic cover. So how does that sound? We'll do something like that. And uh, it'll obviously it's for the Miles Morales game. So we'll do it like that and I'll, there's going to be a lot more tweaks. I'm going to have to really, this is, because like I said, this is just a rough pose, so... I'm going to make a lot more tweaks, fix the anatomy and make it look a bit more like the guy in the game, uh, like Miles in the game, because I think I've still got my, I don't know, my little Marvel hat on here and I've, I'm used to doing the Miles from the, the comics and stuff like that, so I need to try and fix him up so he looks a little bit more like the one from the game and then do the chest and everything else like that. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Um, the next one will be the, on the same thing. We're going to stick to this picture, but I will be going through inking next. So we'll do that. And then you've got to look forward to all the other uh, processes along the way as well. So, all right, everyone. Thanks for watching and I'll keep you updated. Cheers.